What's going on guys? DJ Lowstax here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quarantine DJ project. And as you can see from behind me here, we got the DJ booth out. You guys probably remember when I first built this DJ booth, right before I went to uh, that wedding show. Got it done, uh, down in my parents' garage, brought it back up here to Kalamazoo where I live, and lo and behold, uh, after a wedding show, all the paneling warped from being in my storage unit and popped off all my trim, so I had to redo the whole thing. So you guys saw that in the last, uh, the one the gig log that I did with Casey, I showed you guys uh, you know, the inside of my storage unit. It was actually the gig log before that. Uh, when I did the Habitat for Humanity um, event. So all the paneling popped off and basically the reason that happened was because I used particle board paneling instead of PVC so it absorbed the moisture in my storage unit and all the paneling popped off. But enough about that, we got that all fixed. So what I wanna do today is just give you guys a walkthrough of the booth itself, uh, the modifications that I've made to it that's about it guys you know i'm uh, just trying to find some cool things to make content on and ways to be productive during this quarantine lockdown and all that stuff so i am currently laid off so lots of free time <laughs> and uh i've been doing a lot of live streaming obviously but uh trying to do some productive things as well such as work on this dj booth so let's check it out <music> front here the only real modifications I did to the front would be just I did end up completely spray painting this white so you can't see through it at all uh, in the previous um, the wedding expo photos I had it uh, like a frosted color but got all the trim on this is PVC paneling instead of the OSB or particle board paneling I was using I went through and I caulked all of these seams here to just kind of make everything look super clean and sleek and also just uh, another way of just kind of locking and tying everything in together so in the front here that's a 55 inch tv and then back here this is my sx2 i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave this in here or if i'm gonna run my mixer and turntables this fits a lot nicer obviously it is big enough that i can definitely fit both my rain 12s and my mixer in here no problem uh, but another addition is i switched from the airstream dmx to this uh akai apc mini and show express so i want to be able to have access to this once i know the buttons of this better i might be able to tuck it in here and be okay uh, so if I were to bring out my turntables, I would probably just tuck this thing down in here. And if I have to look down, you know, I can I can see down in there. <clears throat> but yeah, so I've got the laptop stand here. It's fully adjustable. The main modifications I've done since the initial build would be this little 7-inch monitor here, which basically what this does is it just displays whatever I've got going on on the TV out front. Uh, that way I know what, what I'm playing, basically. Uh, I added these little pocket holes to run my cables through to keep everything nice and neat. Another one over here. And then this is just a thing I found on Amazon. It's got two USB ports and uh, some power. So my thought process there is I'll probably be able to charge camera batteries and that type of stuff over there. So I'm gonna be running my computer charger cable and USB cables through this pocket. But let's, uh, yeah, actually, so while I have it right here, I'll just show you. So I, I have been messing with Show Express a little bit. I got some programs set for my movers and then for my uplighting. Uh, I did order some clear, some clear labels for my label maker to uh, label these buttons. But so far now, I have each button set like that to shut that off. I have each button set for color. So this one's red. So it's going to turn on red and then blue. 
blue, green, and so on. And then the only show that I have built in here so far is this one, which is just kind of a fades through all the colors and there's a little bit of a delay so they do chase a little bit. That's kind of cool. But we'll go back to white, brighten it up in here and we'll keep going. So let me slide this thing out a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so when we get down here, uh, we've got this little cubby that I built in. This is just gonna be just a shelf to keep my phone or whatever. Uh, the Show Express box will end up getting mounted in here somewhere. Uh, it's just hanging there loose right now because I'm not sure exactly where I wanna put it quite yet. But cool mods here. We've got a Sennheiser G4 wireless mic. Uh, these are half wave antennas. We've got this nice little drawer here, which is full of crap for me building this out. Eventually this is just gonna house my microphone, extra batteries, the remotes for the TV and things, and probably just some miscellaneous stuff, business cards, that type of thing. And it does lock, which is kind of cool too. Uh, and then I have a Furman power conditioner. So this thing is got one outlet on the front and then I believe it has eight on the back. And the big difference between a power conditioner and a power strip is gonna be a power conditioner actually cleans the power. So, so that crazy humming noise that you get sometimes through dirty, dirty outlets and things like that at the events, this is supposed to help uh, clean that up so that you don't damage your speakers or anything like that. I did also, I told you guys in the last video about this booth, that I built the base here, um, the bottom cubby, big enough so I can slide both of my RCF uh, J8s right down in the cubbies down here. So I'll be able to slide the J8s down in here on their sides. So basically what I'm going to be able to do is roll this thing in. It's all going to be pre-wired up, ready to go. So I'll be able to just roll it in. All I have to do is run power to it, run uh, XLRs out to my speakers, plug those up, and I'm ready to go. So my setup time is going to be, I mean, almost nothing. I mean, 10 to 15 minutes tops. Uh, that's with lighting and speakers and everything. So uh, it's definitely going to cut down on my setup time substantially. And it also just looks super cool. Yeah, that's, that's basically all I have uh, for this one, guys. I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you have any recommendations on mods that I can do to this thing or you know things that uh, you've, you've seen or that you've done to your, your booths, you know, let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think of this booth. And uh, yeah, if you need any information on how to make it or you know the products that I used, I'll link all those things that I bought off Amazon. I'll link those down in the description, which would be the uh, little pocket uh, outlet thing the seven inch screen, the Furman power conditioner, the drawer, the wireless mic. Most of the stuff off here came from Amazon, uh, along with the laptop stand and all that. So I do still plan on having a cover made. I'm probably gonna go through Tukey Covers, which is here in Michigan, have them make me a custom cover to slide over the top of this. That way I can just wheel it in, wheel it out, and uh, life will be easy. Oh, one more thing, guys. I did just touch on the uplighting that I've had, but I just bought these, so as you can see here, they're branded. So these are both lighting, they're from China. Yes, I know that there's a lot of back and forth on the Chinese uplights. Some people love them, some people hate them. For me, I figured I'd give them a shot. I do have a lot of, you know, Chave stuff, American DJ stuff, but for the price, I figured I'd give them a try. Um, they look a lot like the Freedom Pars. So far, they function really well. Uh, but I don't I haven't done a full video on them yet just because I don't uh, I don't have that much I don't have that much experience with them. I mean, I've only had them for a couple weeks uh, I got 12 of them with a flight case So I'll be able to have those hooked up to my show Express box um, with the Kai APC mini along with my moving heads and all that stuff So if this wedding season ever does start my setup is going to be looking pretty freaking awesome So all right guys, that's all I have for this one as always, if you're new around here, please subscribe. Please click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Let's, uh, let's get through this, guys, so we can get to doing some gigs. I'm ready. Bet you're ready, too. Peace.